Hey y'all, welcome back to the garage. Today, we got another box of parts for the Pro V engine. So, let's get the wrenching on it. Alright y'all, we're going to start out here. We're going to get this intake manifold uh, mounted up. Uh, I did pick up some Velt Pro gasket material to make the gaskets out for it so let me get some gaskets cut here and we will get this thing mounted on here so give me a second and uh, we'll bring you all right back all right y'all got the gaskets made for these got a couple bolts in the top um, with the way my workbench is I've misplaced the other two but I'll just stop and get a couple uh, on my way home from work one day and uh, but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, make, the carb make the gasket for the carburetor now and uh, see if we can't get that bolted on. So, all right, let's try that next. Bring it back whenever we get the gasket made. All right, y'all, got that uh, gasket made. Got the nuts started on here, so we're going to go ahead and just snug that up. Snug the other side up. There we go. Got the carburetor all mounted, intake mounted. Like I said, just need to get two more bolts for down here on the bottom on this uh, intake manifold, and uh, we'll be ready to uh, have fire in it. So uh, next, I'm going to spin the motor around. We're going to go ahead and put the valve covers on, and I'll show you guys how to put the gaskets in them valve covers. All right, y'all. These are aftermarket uh, valve covers. If you're familiar with the Kohlers, uh, you'll notice these are much taller. Uh, these are made out of cast aluminum. They got a fill hole on the back, which uh, they come with just a rubber plug. Uh, looks like that. I don't think it looks very nice. So I got a one inch pipe. These are one inch holes. I'm going to tap it to one inch pipe and I'm going to get some hex head plugs to thread in here with an O-ring just to make them look better. And I'm not real jazzed about the casting finish here. Um, I may take them back off, sand them down, use some like 800 or 600, 800, and then 1,000 grit to get them nice and smooth, and then throw some metal polish on them, get them polished up nice for, for Mark. Um, I'm going to talk with him to see if that's what he wants to do, but uh, definitely going to tap that hole and put the plugs in them that way. So. Um, these things take just a standard Kohler valve cover gasket. And, you know, they are kind of shape matched. They got the angle on them. Now, when you put these in, you're going to be tempted to just, you know, put it in and run your thumb, thumb over it. Not what you want to do. Get it facing the right direction the way I want it to go. There, there we go. Push it down in with your with your fingers, all the way around. Don't run. Don't slide your finger across them. If you slide your finger across, you can stretch this gasket, and then it will not seal right because it'll be bunched up in a corner or whatever, or along a straight edge. You want it just to lay down in there nice and nice and flat. Just keep working it. It takes a little bit to get them worked down in them little grooves, especially these ones. But this goes for the, the stock egg or valve covers too. You know, you wanna you wanna make sure that you get them pushed down in nice and flat. So Now, I, even with these rubber gaskets on here, most of the time, I go ahead and put a little bit of silicone on them, just to make them, just to get them to seal up better, but that's my choice, so 
All right, I'm going to work this gasket a little bit more, and then uh, we'll bring you all back. All right, y'all. Got that gasket in there. And uh, these are metric, so I just got some metric screws here. And they just kind of slide down on. There's that one. And the reason why these things are so much bigger than the stock ones is because of the roller rockers. We got to clear them, so. All right. I need to find me a fat, ooh, Phillips screwdriver and uh, get this tightened down. We'll bring you back in just a second. All right, y'all. I guess I should have unpacked the uh, shipping box a little bit better because they came with a nice set of Allen headed screws. So. I'm going to go ahead and pull these back out, put those in. I'm going to put the gasket in the other one, and we'll get it bolted on, and uh, we'll bring you all back in just a minute. All right, y'all. We're moving right along here. Uh, next thing we got to do is we got to mount the coils on here. I've already mounted them to the bracket. I just need to put the... There's a couple bolts here that hold it on. These are the stock, these are the stock uh, coil mounts, so we'll just go ahead and mount them right to that. So let me find some bolts and we'll uh, get, that, uh, get that thing mounted up. All right, y'all. Uh, now I did drill and tap these stock mounts out to quarter 20 to, uh, just to make sure that they, a little more substantial bolt to hold it on there. You know, these things are going to take a little bit of vibration and stuff, so... I just wanted to make sure that they uh, that they fit and everything. So looks like we might have to elongate one of them holes there. Yeah, this hole's here is off. I know I drilled them exactly where they were supposed to be. So. Yep, all right. I'm gonna grab a drill, open these up just a little, just a hair, and uh, then we'll get it bolted on. All right, y'all. Got them holes opened up a little bit there. So now maybe we can get these bolted on there. And I did find some washers to put on them. So, just to, just to make sure. I'm not holding my tongue right. There we go. All right. That's how it bolts on, so... I'm going to go ahead and get this all tightened up, and then we'll uh, move on from there. All right, y'all. The only thing we have left to do is to wire these up. Um, I thought I had the small enough wire connectors to uh, connect these up, but I don't. So uh, i got to get them, because this is some real small wire here. Uh, i got to pick those up yet. So uh, I think I'm going to end the video here. Oh, uh... Just for future reference, I probably won't video, video wiring this up. This is the red wire that goes down to our sensor right here. Let's see if I can zoom you all in a little bit more. All right, this is the red wire that goes down to that pickup. 12 volt in on this. Each one of these comes back from the each one of those pickups. Uh, I'll have to look again to see which one's right and which one's left. I can't remember white and black. But this is like the ground wire for your points on your coil. So it will go on the negative, negative side of the coil. Uh, this will go on the positive side of the coil. Uh, where we'll bring 12 volt into the coils. And we'll pick it up and send it, send it out on this too. So uh, real, real simple setup on this, how to, how to do it. 
how to wire it and everything and they do make these for single cylinders uh, mainly cores but you can adapt them to whatever Briggs, Honda, any of them uh, you can adapt this system to, to for the singles or the twins you just need to make, might need to make up some of your own brackets and stuff but this is much superior to your regular coils that you have on it if you're doing a high performance application like go-karts, mini bikes, stuff like that greatest thing about it is you can adjust your timing so that's why it gives a hotter spark but the adjustable timing is what really does it so um, alright uh, the only thing we have left to do on this side here is to bolt the exhaust on but not going to do that until we uh, until we get it mounted in something to start it uh, externally internally and externally both this thing is uh, this thing is uh, basically complete uh, I still do have some couple things to do uh, I need to get the these are the crank gate vents right here we seen when we we're putting on the crank crank wheel or trigger wheel I do still need to trim a little bit of that off no big deal and then get fittings that will come out and then up and then we'll have to get a catch can or something to to do that um, there's one other little hole down here I have to plug and then uh, oil filter oil and uh, I think we're ready to fire it uh, starter cart but uh, we'll have to plumb the carburetor in for some fuel inlet on it but that ain't no big deal so um, yeah I think we're I think we're getting ready getting real close to getting this thing to fire um, so all right all right y'all that's gonna do it for this video uh, we're getting real close to the end of this. I know I keep saying that in every video, but you know it's it's a hundred little details. Uh, the major internals are all done. Uh, ignition is on. Static set. Carburetor's on. Uh, just have to go through the jets and the static set those. Um, like I said, we just uh, just a few little little details. Vent tubes. One plug over here for the uh, uh, where the uh, oil pressure used to come out of, or the va vacuum, I'm sorry, used to pick vacuum up over here, um, get a oil filter on it, dump some oil in it, um, oh, I got to tighten this up yet too, and we do have the counterbalance out here, the uh, starter pulley, we still have, do have to put that on the end of the, end of the PTO crank air, but uh, those are just, those are just little things, spark plug wires, spark plugs, um, I don't know how much of this, the rest of this I'm going to film other than getting it started up. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this series. Really appreciate you all watching and hanging in with me for this long. I know it's been real, real long, but uh, we did have some problems getting some a few parts. Um, then took some time. Uh, ran into a couple little hiccups here and there, but uh, we got it all taken care of. So, appreciate you all watching. Uh, if you do, like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. It's free. It don't cost you a penny to hit that thumbs up button for me. Also over there, um, hit that subscribe button. That the little red button over there says subscribe, the little bell next to it. Make sure you ring that bell too. Get all the notifications. All this is free. I do this for the, out of the goodness of my heart. I, I, I give it to you. Okay? So please, you know, give the love back. Appreciate it a lot. So, um... By the way, we did hit 2,000 subs here recently, uh, so possibly a giveaway in the future. And uh, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, Sunday live streams, 7 p.m. Sunday evenings. Come on in, hang out. Any questions you got, let's talk. Uh, check out my cooking videos on Wednesdays. Uh, those are a big hit. So, again, appreciate it. Thanks a lot, and uh, we'll catch you all in the next one.